Hi guys, today the HackerRank coding challenge is called Compare the Triplets and it's going to be our last warm-up algorithm challenge in this HackerRank series. So here we are going to receive two arrays and we're going to have to compare the uh, elements at every position and then award some points to two people. So their names are Alice and Bob. And what you are doing here is creating some hacker rank challenges. And every time they create challenges, a reviewer goes through what they submit, and then he awards points based on three things here, problem clarity, originality, and difficulty. So these are going to be combined for each member. They're going to be combined for Alice and also for Bob in an array. So then we need to compare who got the most or the highest score for clarity. If it's Alice, then we give a point to Alice. Then we check again who scored the highest points for originality based on the reviewer's judgments. And if it's Bob, then we give one point to Bob. If they have a draw for a certain category, let's say difficulty, they both had the same points, then we don't award anyone any points. So you guys can go through the instructions. They are quite lengthy, but they are pretty much what I've just explained. So I'm going to switch my screen here to the full view. And I'm just going to grab my solution because I've already solved this challenge. So this is pretty much the entire solution. Very easy. First, what I'm doing is I'm having two integer variables, one for Alice and then one for Bob. Now our function takes two parameters, a vector of integers called A and a vector of integers called B. Both of them correspond to the points that Alice and Bob have respectively for every category. The categories here being the clarity, the originality, and the uh, difficulty. So I'm going to add an ampersand here and also here to pass them by reference. And then now we know that both of these vectors are going to be of the same size. So I can simply have one for loop, loop through the entire vector of Alice here. And I'm doing that in reverse order. That's why you can see that I'm starting I at the last position, the last index in the A vector. And then I'm checking so long as I can access elements inside that vector, because my index is still valid, I want to decrease the value of I. And then at every iteration, I compare who has the highest score for a particular category. So the first one, the first iteration is going to compare the scores of Alice and Bob for clarity. The second iteration is going to compare their score for originality. And the third iteration is going to compare their score for difficulty. So anytime Alice has a higher score, I increment her value. I increase her counts by one. And anytime Bob has a higher score, I increase his points by one. I'm not having any other else statements because we don't need to do anything if they have a draw. So we only check if Alice has a higher score and then if Bob has a higher score. Once we've updated the values for Alice and Bob, we simply need to return them in a vector of integers like this here. So instead of using pushback, et cetera, I'm just having this constructor where I'm passing the values for Alice and Bob, and this is going to return me a valid vector of integers. So now we can run this code. We pass test case zero, sample test case zero and test one. So now I'm going to submit this code and we've just passed all the test cases. I'm going to end the video here, but if you liked it, please make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, give this video a thumbs up and drop your comments in the comment section. I'll catch you next time. Bye.